So Don Lemon's new show was canceled after just one episode. <laughs> Actually, to be clear, it was canceled after recording one episode before it even went to air or was posted online. You may recall that Don Lemon was demoted from a prestigious CNN primetime host to a morning host. And then after it was clear that he wasn't getting along very well with his co-workers and was being rude to the other female anchors, he was then fired from CNN. So Elon Musk reached out to him and invited him into Twitter's monetization program in order to post his show exclusively on X. And I mean the good monetization program, not the garbage one that all of the wannabe social media influencers are in where they get a little slice of the revenue from those garbage, mostly scam ads that show up in the replies to people's posts. That monetization program, the initial launch, you might have seen some of the big Twitter personalities posted screenshots. So they were making five, seven, ten thousand dollars a month. Well, then that pie got cut into hundreds of thousands of pieces because Elon opened it up to everybody. And now from the big names that I've spoken to, they're all making like a hundred or two hundred dollars from millions and millions of impressions. So there's a prestigious monetization program, the one that Elon hooked up Mr. Beast with, the one that he hooked up Tucker Carlson with, where they get pre-roll ads and they get premium distribution, the real monetization program. Why Elon Musk would pay Don Lemon is a whole other story, basically because he wanted to show that he has evened out the platform because he has Tucker Carlson in the premier monetization program and leftist lunatic Don Lemon. And so for Don's first guest to kick off his show, which was scheduled to premiere next Monday on the 18th, he interviewed Elon himself. But Elon soon realized that you could take Don Lemon out of CNN, but you can't take the CNN out of Don Lemon. And his interview looked and sounded exactly like he was on CNN, spewing absolute nonsense, complaining about supposed hate speech on the platform, and a bunch of other things. Here's the trailer for his interview. So let's get into it. Are you under the influence of anything? You said you learned your lesson. What did you learn? So you don't consider that hate speech? What, what is the evidence? Do you have any responsibility to the truth? So after that interview, Elon canceled Don Lemon's contract with X with Twitter, with their premier monetization <laughs> partnership. And yesterday morning, Don Lemon posted this lengthy statement about <laughs> how Elon Musk has canceled the partnership <laughs> that he had. So then Lemonhead was welcomed back to CNN with open arms for a lengthy interview and exclusive clips of his interview with Elon, where... Of course, he was complaining about the mean things that people were posting on his platform. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. <laughs> Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there possibly, was... I could care less. <laughs> Apparently Elon Musk never watched Don Lemon's show when he was on CNN because this is Don Lemon. This is who he is. A leopard doesn't change their spots. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two, I have two things I want to ask you about that, Don. First, the great replacement theory. Fact. As you bring it up, um, you know, he has tweeted, uh, a tweet he shared, Increasing illegals boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. Mm -hmm. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. All 30 million of them. Yes, that is going to happen. And it will implement the Cloward Piven strategy. And America will collapse. Right. He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by these ideas. Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did, uh, originally he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble and he had to go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. He did go on an apology tour over there with Ben Shapiro as his handler, because well, I better not get into it. But um, he doesn't understand how that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about the great replacement theory and um, and a migrant invasion that's what radicalized sh facts upset people they upset americans and patriotic people and occasionally sadly sometimes crazy people who do stupid things but you can't blame the facts for what a crazy person does because they're mad at them 
Lemonhead went on to say that he confronted Elon Musk about certain cartoons that some people post about certain groups of people that Don Lemon thinks should be entirely banned from the internet because he considers them to be hateful. Mm -hmm. Photographs of or tweets of, of Jewish people depicting them with big noses and as caricatures um, of African Americans, um, you know, in in the big lips. And, yes. uh, all right, and I, you know, I think this is important for people to hear, especially considering how the type of discourse that we're having in the country right now. And he supposedly says this is a public square for all. Maybe we're learning that a public square should not be privately owned by someone who doesn't think that there should be any moderation on that platform. Then he went on to say that it's Elon Musk who doesn't support free speech because Elon isn't paying him to host his show on X. <laughs> okay. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is, if they're allowed to speak freely and to say their point of view. <laughs> Apparently, that doesn't matter to Elon Musk. It's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric, because uh, it, it doesn't seem to matter when it's about him, questions about him from people like me. All right. So so out of one side of his mouth, he is literally calling on Elon Musk to ban people from posting cartoons that hurt certain people's feelings, while at the same time saying he's a big supporter of free speech. And free speech to him only means that people should be allowed to say things that you don't agree with. Of course, because Don Lemon is a hypocrite and an Orwellian, well, servant of Satan, to be quite frank. Here he is on Twitter. I still am refusing to call it X, where he's complaining to Elon. You canceled my contract after our interview. I don't think you believe in free speech. No, you have free speech, Don. It's a private platform. <laughs> it's Elon's money. He doesn't want to pay you. He doesn't have to. Remember, that was their talking point when conservatives kept getting banned. Oh, it's a private company. They can do whatever they want. They can set the rules. Remember that, Don? The president's Twitter feed, the one he has been permanently barred from, the one he is whining about, about how they've taken away his freedom of speech. The fact is, these are private companies. They have no obligation to have anyone on their platforms. The, these are decisions that have nothing to do with, the, with Congress. So now Don Lemon's going to have to be an ordinary YouTuber. And in order to pay for his show, the production costs, and his staff, He's going to have to do those annoying ad reads that virtually every other YouTuber does, shilling garbage products or service that they would never use even if the company gave it to them for free. And so far, thanks to all of the controversy yesterday, he was trending on Twitter. This is a huge story across all liberal media. His return to CNN, he's racked up two and a half thousand subscribers. <laughs> uh, you heard me correctly, two and a half thousand <laughs> subscribers. And as you know, I don't do ad reads because I'm not an ordinary YouTuber, although I am losing out on tons of money, but I would much rather just design and sell my own t-shirts and write my own books, even though I make way less money. I just feel better about myself than having some company pay me to pretend like what it is they're building or selling is actually good when, as you know, most of the ad reads are just total garbage that YouTubers accept money from because, well, they just want to get paid. But if you want to support my channel and get a great shirt, head over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And of course, order my new book, The War on Conservatives, because if you like my videos, you're really going to love reading the book. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.